Hey everyone, Stump Stalker here. I'm out for another shoot. Just gonna wander around, shoot whatever fancies me today. Um, I went to a little bit of a different spot than I was last video. Same general area though. There's still tons of stumps all over the place. And uh, let's try to stay warm and dry. It's not raining at the moment. It's New Year's Eve right now. So happy new year to everybody and uh, yeah, come along for a little walk. Today I brought my tube quiver, this guy. So it's a totally sealed up enclosed quiver. Keep my fletchings dry. It's something I've been playing with for a while. It works pretty good. It's not the most comfortable thing. It's not horrible though either. And uh, it's kind of convenient. You'll see how it works in the video. All right, thanks. Flew kind of weird. Went right in the right spot though. It's a little bit of a stiff one. I'm shooting ocean spray again today. I forgot to say that in the intro. I'm gonna see if I can clip that branch off, that horizontal branch, stick it in the stump behind there. Let's see what happens. I'm not promising anything. It's pretty close. Shoot another one. Oh, just over it. Let's try another one. Oh, guess it's not meant to be today. Let's go check it out. I was kind of all around it, wasn't I? Oh well, we'll keep trying. There's kind of an X there. I'm gonna try to shoot that smaller one. I think that big one will be pretty hard, but that smaller one, I'll try to take it off the top and it'll stick into that nice soft one in behind. Damn close. See you again. Try one more. Oh my goodness. I think that stump has a force field around it. Let's go have a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a force field around that. I missed the tip of that by about a quarter inch or so, maybe a little more. Darn it, tip came off. Maybe I could find it. Oh, it's pretty soft in there. That one just passed right through that stump. There's my arrow. It carried on about six feet past the stump, so clean pass through and stuck into this piece of rotten hemlock. I love the power of arrows, it's incredible. They just don't want to stop.
Well, that was a pretty hard stump. They bounced, not as far as some, but they bounced about five feet back. As you can see in the slow-mo, using a slow motion camera is a good way to see how your arrows are tuned. Obviously those two are not tuned the best. They kind of fly crazy. I think they're pretty stiff, um, but that's kind of what I expect with ocean spray. I need to do more work to take more thickness out of them so they can go down in spine, but uh, I'm having fun with them and uh, eventually I will get more dedicated to actually spining these and finding ones that work. Um, if I want to hunt with them, I got to make sure that they fly a little better than what they are. Let's go shoot some more. I'll shoot between the trees and try to get that little guy that's down, that low broken off one. Knocks full of junk from the last shot. Just got the side of it. One more. Boom. I even had a feather come off on that one. That's weird. All right, let's go check it out. There you are. I don't know what happened to that feather. Apparently the glue didn't stick right. Weird. So rarely have feathers come off. Oh, we'll have to repair this one at home. First shot I, that I missed is just over here. Normally when I shoot like this, when I'm stump shooting, if I miss the first shot I don't take a follow-up shot because so often I'll take a follow-up shot and then I'll forget where the first arrow went and I'll lose it so pro tip if you're stump shooting take one shot at a time unless you can see the arrow sticking in the stump because otherwise it's so easy to get turned around and forget where that arrow flew just want to give you guys a little bit of a better shot of this quiver it's made out of three inch perforated pvc so it's pretty thin walled pvc um i cut the slot out of it with just i don't know what i used the small handsaw and then i put an end cap on each end i didn't glue them on i just tapped them down they're on there pretty good and then i basically made this strap with paracord, double cobra. And uh, I kind of just followed some instructions on YouTube of how to make a rifle sling, an adjustable rifle sling. So this sling with this buckle, it's adjustable so I can, I can move it up and down with this guy so I can change how tight it is. So if I want to make it less tight, then I can pull the quiver around to the front so I can access the arrows a little easier. I can just slack that off. But yeah, it works really good. I wanted a solution where I could have my arrows with me in the pouring rain and they wouldn't get wet. And this seems to fit the bill. I covered it with cotton camo fabric. It's kind of a silly, goofy job. I think it would have been better off to use spray paint and just spray paint the whole thing. But this is what I've done. So if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up in the comments. Do you ever just get one of those feelings? You're walking along and you go, I wonder. Yep, there's an arrow right there. My daughter's arrow, another one that we left out here a couple weeks ago. It's stuck in something too. Weird. Oh well, that's sweet. You can take it home to her. She'll be excited. Now if I could just find the three arrows I've left out here, that would be nice. Problem with using natural colored feathers is sometimes they blend in just a little bit. Mother nature at work. This forest is full of conks of all different kinds. My wife's right into it. I can't remember what the names of them all are, but it's very cool. Breaking down stumps and turning them into soil, just like I'm doing when I shoot them. 
making holes for water and insects and birds to help turn these old stumps into soil, help feed the second growth forest. Got him. The eye always grabs something that's a different color contrast to the target. So my eye grabbed this hole in the stump. It's pretty hollow inside. There you go, arrow. Pretty cool. I think it's time for some coffee. Cheers, coffee time. Hardly ever leave home without a cup in my hand. But it's such a nice spot to just sit and listen to nature and uh, enjoy the softness of the moss on the log that I'm sitting on and just be. It's pretty awesome. There's no people around anywhere. I can hear the road a little bit when a car goes by. That's really all I can tell that there's other humans though. It's amazing. That's a good shot. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it was a good shot. Thanks for joining me out here again today. I'm not really feeling it. I'm definitely not shooting well. So I think I'm gonna pack it in, head home. It's starting to get kind of dark out in, in the woods anyway. Um, days are short still. But uh, anyway, it was nice to be out and it was nice to have you along with me and uh, we'll see you all in 2021. Have a good one.